Hello there. Greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day. Light for your daily path. This is episode 671. Our topic is higher thoughts. Higher thoughts. And this is part four. Our Bible reading is taken from God's word in Proverbs chapter 28, verse 26. Friends, our God is in charge of all things. Nothing, absolutely nothing is beyond or above him. Because we are the children of the creator, the children of the owner of all things, we must see ourselves as people with access to all things through Christ. How we see our God will influence how we see or how we worry about challenges until our thinking starts aligning with God's truth. There are many things that may not change for the better in our lives. We may keep fighting the same battles, facing the same resistance, and God's desire for our lives We keep being delayed. We must be intentional about asking the Lord to open our hearts to a new way of thinking that is in accordance to his word, in accordance to his will for our lives. Ask the Lord to help you believe and to accept his word until God's word starts transforming our minds. There are many things he cannot give to us and there are many things he will not do through us. I pray that from today, the eyes of your spirit be opened to see yourselves and everything around you the same way God sees them. I pray that you will be empowered with a new way of thinking from today in the name of Jesus Christ. Here is our task for today. Take some time to reflect on what prosperity means to you and assess your belief from God's word. Make sure that your belief aligns with God's word. Take some time to reflect on what prosperity means to you. Pay close attention to the wisdom pushed for today. Today's declaration, make sure you declare it upon yourself in the name of Jesus and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. I pray you have a fruitful day in the name of Jesus. May God strengthen you for exploits today. May you enjoy the leading of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Have a great day, Father. Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen, and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.